The first one that we're going to work on is like a, a balance and coordination drill. The next one that we're going to do is a drill to work on driving the bar upward, getting a nice rattle out of the bar, and getting a nice amount of float time so that you can get under it pretty easily. The higher you pull the bar, the more space you're going to have to sit, especially until you have that nice deep overhead squat. After that, we're going to hit some overhead squats, work the weaknesses, a nice uh, complex that's going to work what we're learning here, the high pole plus the snatch plus an overhead squat. And then if you have time at the end of the day, I want you to do some back squats. There are always two ways to do every strength movement, like a squat or a press or something like that. The way that lets you lift the most weight and the way that's going to make you the best for weightlifting, the sport of weightlifting. So I'm going to look at your back squat and make sure that we're on the same page. That's right. So the drill is called teacups. What we're going to attempt to do, keeping this plate flat to the ground, not tilting it because you would spill the tea or break a cup, I want you to rotate it all the way around 360 degrees. Taking three, Li Wu Long. That's bad, right? Let's see. Start by internal. Yeah, rotate it in. You spill tea everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. that stands. Try that again. Breathe. Not bad. I want you to go external and then bring it back around. It's the same motion, just the opposite direction. Let's start by moving this hand, and you're not going to drop the ball in this hand. This will be easy. All right, you'll do three internal, and then three external, and don't spill that ball. recently and his YouTube channel is filled with really cool drills and movements like that. So definitely check it out. Ido Portal. Easy to work on. You can work on it with anything. Uh, I use a water bottle all the time. Water bottles are tough because they're like yeah they're they're tall so you have to really get this thing underneath your armpit. This is nice. This thing stays settled very easily. Or like a low cup filled with water is gonna stay settled very easily. If you are gonna use an open cup with water, maybe try outside before you go inside. Well, the roof's up to be a nice city. Rooftop, yes. As the sun's rising. This drill comes from a man named Alexei Torokti, who is a Ukrainian weightlifter. He also has a YouTube page you can check out with a lot of, I think, some of the best uh, videos to, to teach yourself how to lift. A lot of really excellent drills on there. Good, fantastic resource. You're going to start in your power position. We're going to take this in stages. Step one is going to be very easy. You're going to start in your power position. The bar should be resting in your hip. Knees slightly bent. Chest a little forward. Elbows turned out to the side. For you, you're going to have a little bit of a curl under of your wrist. Remember we talked about that the first time. From here, I want you to just tap the bar lightly into your hip. You should be hitting in between your pubic bone, which is the mound right here, and your hip bones on either side. Tap, tap, 
tap. Once you get a nice rhythm and you're hitting the same spot every time, I want you to stand up aggressively into this bar. I want to hear it make some noise when you stand up into it. A word of warning, wait for the bar to come back to you before you stand up. If you stand up while the bar's out here and you hit that pubic bone, it's gonna really hurt. Smack it with the hips. Fantastic, again. Good, three more times. Two more. One more time. Now, if we were to lift like that, the bar would get knocked out way away from us, right? And we know the further something gets from us, the heavier it's going to feel. So what I want you to do this time, after you hit it and you make that rattle, I want you to pull your elbows up very high, pull the bar to about the height of your sternum. With the boom. That's right. If you pull before you hit, you're not going to get any sound. Tap, tap, like that, I get no sound. If you wait until you hit, you get a nice rattle. Timing. That's what makes this drill so great, is you get instant feedback if you did it right or not. If it makes noise, you did it right. If it didn't, you did not. Tap. Yes. Tap, tap, drop. Yeah, good. Final variation, you're gonna pick the heels up. That's gonna really throw the bar up. You're gonna feel like it wants to go all the way up to your chin or maybe even higher. I want you to just take it to the sternum. I want you to feel what it feels like to control the bar when it wants to fly. Tap, tap, brr. Mm -hmm. More rattle, more sound. More sound? Yes. Yes, good. I want to be able to hear it from across the room. Very good. What they call the midfoot. If you're like me and you were in size 9, that's a weight displacement of 3 inches. It's not much from back here to up here, back here to up here. If you keep your weight in that zone and you keep the bar over that zone, you'll never lose your balance. I want you to do another set of 3, tap, tap, drive. I want you to feel the, the weight or pressure in the front edge of the heel as you're tapping. Feel it transfer forward to the back of the ball as you drive. should be when you start and pull. Everything from the floor. So your set, set up position and all the way through here. The weight is here in the front of the ball of the foot. When you rise right before the power position. Right, right. Until in, in the power position is the last moment that you're going to be balanced here. So from your starting point all the way to the power position balance is here. As you extend the weight shifts forward to here. The back of the ball of the foot. This is for extension. So you can see, even with these size 13s, this is only 4 inches of weight movement. You never want the weight all the way here. Definitely not all the way here. You're going to tip over and knock it forward. Don't be upset, okay, fellas. 4 inches can do some damage. <laughs> just got to learn how to use it. Uh, some coaches teach people like a, like just a snatch bolt like this with like the shrug. I don't. I really don't see the point. If you're gonna pull on a bar, you pull that shit as high as you can. Same thing for the clean. Pull that thing high. You know, I don't do these little like shrugging pulls. I think it's a waste of time. Let's hit some overhead squats and then we're gonna return to that tap tap drive drill. Okay. I want you to get three sets, three reps with a three second pause in the bottom of each one, and I want to get up to 70 kilos. That's about 155 pounds. No big deal. Reebok website below, grab this hoodie because you know it's banging. I like three days a week, a heavy back squat day, a high volume back squat day, and right in the middle, a front squat day where you're doing a heavy set and some light sets. Yeah. Yep. One, two, three, eyes up. One, two, three, good. Lock those elbows, one, two, three, good. Back right, and rest. One, two, three. Push that bar back behind your head. One, two, three. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Good. 
we know. We're gonna do a set with green, set with yellow, set with blue, and then we're working at red. Develop the stuff that's weak, make it stronger. All right, let's go. Just because that was tight. One, two, three. Stay with it. One, two, three. Good, big breath in. One, two, three. Push, 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 push. Good, press. If your overhead position is not good, the pause overhead squat is your best friend. Just sit down in the bottom with some heavy weights until your body stops freaking out and then stand up with it. Snatch is the most complex, they're the most pieces. If you can learn the snatch, learning the clean is going to be very easy. Uh, the next time I see you, we're going to start on the jerk. So I like to spend a few sessions on the snatch, building lessons and improving on each one, a few on the jerk, and then we'll start going back and forth, back and forth. The clean. Uh, nine times out of ten, if your positions are there, it's more about how much heart do you have. How brave are you? Are you willing to throw yourself under that bar? Or are you going to kind of wait for it to do itself? Uh, I find that it doesn't need as much technical work. One, two, three. Squeeze up keep those elbows tight. Make the elbows do more work so the wrists don't have to. Two, three. Putting the two drills we've done together. Are there any questions about that? No? Boom, drop, snatch. Snatch. And try to feel the same rhythm. When you do the high pull, you feel that, that floating, that drive up here. Try to feel that same drive before you drop under your snatch. What did you do wrong? I'm trying to think about that. But what did you do right? How about that? Did you get the bar into your hips? No, didn't get the bar into my hips. Did you get a, a rattle or a vibration on the bar when it came up? When it was coming up, but it was out. It was out far in front of you. Okay. What about when you went under the bar? Did you move your feet into your squatting no. position to receive? Stay That's there. the biggest mistake that you made. Not bad, not bad squat. Good. Then you have to do another overhead squat as part of the complex. Oh, Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time you snatch, you get all the way down to the bottom. If you forget to get to the bottom, then this is still part of the snatch, getting back down there now. That way we're training the body to know that the end of the movement is sitting down. Good. Good. Hey, okay, and squat. Oh, squat, you lose. Oh my God. Right? All right, let's take it apart. So you have a pull, a snatch, and an overhead squat. Just talking about the snatch. If you catch it. So the squat is the, the, the snatch. Is the, uh, the snatch is the squat also, and then the squat after that. Okay. Fuck. Not the hook grip, it's because you pulled from over your toe. Keep the 
far touching your shit. Fucking hook this real close and see how to Four. One, two. You see? You see that rhythm? You see the flow? Oh. What did you do that time? Huh? What did you do that time? Uh, I, was trying, I, was, I, was, I was actually focusing on my heels trying to sit back. Uh -huh. But yeah. I didn't hit the contact. Yeah, the contact. Yeah. Yeah.
I usually do like five reps and I'm done. But hell no. Nah. I just did 440 for 10 reps. Now I gotta do two sets, 407 for 10 reps before I'm done. And do all this shit. And do all this shit. But then you ain't got no music either. That was six reps. Just up, hips through. 